Welcome everyone, my name is Wolfman Mozzie, and today I'm very excited to check out Peglin. The demo for this game came out a while back, but the game has recently released into early access, so I'm excited to try it out, because I very much enjoyed the demo, and I'm intrigued to see what new content they added. To start us, Peglin is a pinball style game mixed with RPG elements. It takes inspiration from a game called Peggle, if you're familiar with that, but again, mixes RPG elements with that game style, and it does it very well in my opinion. A couple quick things, if you do like the content and like to support the channel, consider leaving a thumbs up, perhaps subscribing to the channel, and you'll also be notified when I post new videos. I very much appreciate it. Without further delay, let's go ahead and jump into Peglin. Alrighty, here we have our first encounter. We've got the pinball style area, or the peggle style area, where you have these pegs and you fire orbs to hit the pegs to accumulate damage to deal two enemies up top. The top portion is the RPG element. It is the battlefield, as I like to call it. Here are your orbs on the left hand side. We have to start three stones and one dagger. The stone does two damage per peg it hits. If you hit a crit, which are the yellow exclamation marks, it deals four damage per pegs, so it doubles the damage. The dagger deals one damage per peg it hits, and if you hit a crit, it does seven damage per peg it hits, so it multiplies damage by seven. As the description says, it does massive damage on crit. A turn consists of firing an orb, hitting the pegs, and when the orb falls through one of these slots at the bottom, calculates the damage and deals it to the enemies at the top. The stone and the dagger, they just fire from left to right and hit the first enemy in its path. Once that's done, your attack is over and the enemies take a turn. They do different things like the slimes, they move forward one, if they're already in melee range they will attack you, the bats fly, same thing if they're in melee range they attack. These two spiders, they go up and down, they don't move towards us, but they go up and down, um, which can cause them to dodge orbs occasionally. So there's orbs that will only deal damage to enemies on the ground, so if they're up in the air, it will miss them. The stone and dagger can deal um, damage to ground enemies or uh, enemies in flight. It just hits the first one from left to right. So they can dodge, but they also have ranged attacks. Since they don't move forward, I think every time they go up, they deal a range attack, but uh, we'll find out. We'll, we'll go ahead and fire our first orb. There's some other mechanics, but we'll get into them just in a second. Let's go ahead and take our first turn. I think to start off with, we're just going to hit the crit. Um, crits move after every turn, so this one's in a great spot. Let's go ahead and just hit it. Now, there we hit a bomb as well. The bomb's a little different. You throw them out here. Boom, it does 50 damage to all enemies on the battlefield. But you have to hit a bomb twice. The first hit will prime the bomb, and the second one will detonate the bomb. So now that we've dealt our damage with that stone, we cycle into the next orb. So the next orb we have is another stone. Once we use all the orbs here, we take a turn to reload. So the enemy essentially gets a free turn. You can also discard your current orb for the following orb. Say if the next orb is like the dagger, it's something you want to get to, and there's a crit in a good position, you can discard the stone, get the dagger, and use it this turn instead. Discarding an, an orb does not give the enemy an opportunity to act. So, but let's go ahead and just fire off the stone. I'm trying to get that bomb. I don't think we're gonna, we might hit it here, let's try. Nah, we didn't, that's okay. We do enough damage to kill the bat. Uh, it's solid, solid hit there. Let's go ahead, so he only has 10 health. Let's go ahead and just um, fire off the last peg. Hopefully we can get 10 damage before, yeah, look at that. So much damage, so much overkill. Now, speaking of overkill, there are some orbs that will be an exception to this, but as a rule of thumb, the orbs will not carry over the excess damage. 
it hits that first enemy for whatever damage if it's excess then whatever it, that's it you overkilled him so this orb it's a bold orb it's like the stones but it pierces through all enemies but it only hits ground enemies like i was talking earlier about the flying enemies it, this one will not work against them we also have an inferno orb which is interesting it's it's lighter than other orbs so it bounces higher it detonates bombs in one hit but when you use it you deal two damage to yourself not a huge fan i don't like dealing damage to myself because i end up just killing him killing myself but um then we have bob orb it converts every eight pegs hit into a bomb this one's really good especially if you upgrade it so we're gonna go ahead and go with the bomb orb all right let's go ahead and look at our map because this is how you navigate through the map so we go down we go off branching paths here. We've got the standard room with just a regular fight. The Red Skull is an elite fight, so it's a harder fight. And then you have the mystery rooms, which can be a special event, a standard fight. I don't think it can be an elite fight, um, but it can be a treasure room as well. And this is a treasure room. I think it's a pretty low chance to be a treasure room, but I've seen them before. A uh, treasure room gives you a relic that'll give you a passive ability, and some of them are very strong. I think we're going to go ahead and try and get both those treasures because we get a guaranteed one here, but this is really nice. So we're going to go ahead and go to the fight and go for those two treasures. Having said that though, that's going to be harder and it's easier said than done. Um, we, if you go in the fire here, you'll take damage and you'll have to shoot again to see where you go. I'm going to try and sneak in right here. Perfect. Perfect. So we'll just do another standard fight. I don't think I brought this up in the last fight, but there is an upcoming section. These are, so we have two slimes here that will arrive on the battlefield in upcoming turns. So in the next turn, we'll get one slime, one more slime. And the following turn, we'll get the last slime. So, okay. Um, let's go ahead and hit this crit because it's in a good spot. Might get some solid damage to start with. That's not too bad. 32. I'll take it. We got our bomb orb. Did all the pegs shuffle? It looks like they did. They don't normally do that. That's three, four, five, six, seven. I miscounted that. There's eight right there. Nice. Hit a bomb. Actually, that's not nice because not all the enemies are on the field yet. That's kind of annoying. That's a bomb wasted. Okay, now we got the last. Well, we got one of them. Um, I'm just going to prime this bomb, actually. I'm hopefully not going to set off that other one. Yeah, all these pegs moved. This, this is unique to this room. They don't normally do that. Okay, now we've got all the enemies. I'm going to... Detonate that bomb. I also don't know if I brought this up, but the green R pegs are refresh pegs. It will refresh all the pegs that are missing. Let me see if I can hit one so I can show you. Uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna, oh, it might hit. It did, cool. Refresh all the pegs. And they change location. Well, normally the refresh pegs don't change locations the each turn the crits do but this room is a little different so they're they refresh or they move every turn which is actually kind of nice because a lot of times you'll have holes like this and your next shot will go down the hole so you kind of have to place your shots carefully to not waste pegs uh, we're gonna go for an upgrade um we have three options on this one normally it's you have either two options at the top. You can either get one of three orbs or you can upgrade an orb. This one gives us the option to upgrade. Then you have heal or you can have skip. So we're gonna upgrade an orb. And I think right away, we're gonna upgrade the bomb orb. It changes the bomb orb. I don't know if you noticed last time we grabbed it. The bomb orb doesn't do any damage. It only spawns bombs. But if we upgrade it, the first peg we hit will guarantee change to a bomb, and then it has the other ability of every eight pegs, it, it upgrades, it hits bomb. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and go for a relic. Mm 
Ta-da! Ooh. This is a very nice pickup because we just got the bomb orb, so we're gonna have more bombs than normal. But a bomb clear nearby peg when detonated. Okay, so that's actually pretty good because when we hit a bomb, it'll activate all the pegs around it. Okay. I like it. Let's get our second relic and see. Uh, heal one for every 12 pegs hit during battle. That's not bad. That's not a bad pickup. All right, now we have, let's see. I'm actually gonna go to the right so we can get two fights. Cause that'll either give us more orbs or upgrade options. They also usually do a theme with the pegs cause this is all bats. There's a bat on the, on the map that I think it's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and spawn a bomb there. I don't think we're going to hit eight. Yeah, we didn't spawn another bomb. That's okay. Bats are fast too. I forgot about that. They move two instead of, um, instead of one like slimes do. They're just piling up okay so we're gonna get this bomb it's kind of hoping to get another bomb in there but that's fine this will kill the first two it's gonna do 50 damage to all of them and then we're gonna hit the second one with stone yep okay excellent now we're missing one bat but i still think this is a good opportunity to hit this bomb because it's gonna clear out three of the bats, at least. Um, actually, I think it's gonna get all of them, because I think our stone's gonna finish the last one. Yep. Cool, I'm gonna set the bomb for the last one. Mm, that won't finish him. But he'll be close. Yeah, seven damage, he's done for. Okay. Wow. All we needed was seven damage and I missed it. Okay, well, I should have hit that crit because I didn't realize we had the dagger. Oh well, that'll do. Yes, that will definitely do. All right, so we've got some options here. We have Icicle, which is a, yeah, okay. So it does two to four, or excuse me, it does two damage on each peg, four for a crit. The regular attack will pierce an enemy. So it'll hit the first two enemies. If you crit with it, it will hit all enemies on the field. So, pretty nice. We've got a regular stone. Don't think we're going to be picking that one. And then we have a rubber orb, which is extra bouncy. I think we're going to go with the icicle. I like the pierce. It gives some some good ad clear. So we're going to go with the icicle. The stone, so... I will say, there are some orbs that benefit from having... Or there is at least one orb I know of that will benefit from having more stones. So that one's not a wasted pick, it's just not for our run. Um, we can kind of go either way, left or right, doesn't really matter. We'll go, we'll go left. Perfect. Boom, boom, boom. All right, more spiders, all right? Let's try and clear, let's go. Yeah, let's clear this one so we can hit that bomb if we need to. Bam. Mm, crits. Nope. Ooh, that hit a lot of pegs. Wow. I wasn't sure what nearby meant, like how large the uh, how large of a range the nearby is, but. Good lord, that hit a lot. Okay. Oh. So it pierced, but because they weren't in a line, it didn't hit them. Okay. I guess it it's more effective on the ground. Good to know. Um, let's try and bounce it back. Oh, that was way too far. Okay, well. Okay. Not great. I was trying to bounce it back into that crit, but really overestimated that bounce. Um, just 
trying to clear more space to maybe get to. I was gonna actually try and get to that bomb, but it didn't really work. Probably should have went for this one instead, but that's okay. Our refresh should actually be really nice because our next orb is the bomb orb, and it'll give us. We're taking more damage than I'd hope. It'll give us more uh, targets to hit to make more bombs. Perfect, yeah. Oh, lordy. That's kind of unfortunate because this orb does zero damage per peg it hits, so all those orbs, or all the pegs we hit aren't gonna do any damage, but that's fine. We got tons of bombs. And this last bomb will clear out the remaining spiders. Uh, we reloaded, so they got a free hit. That's not great, but that's fine. We will deal with it. Yeah, look at that. That's such... I was... I thought Enhanced Gunpowder was good, but it's better than I thought. Um, We get an upgrade our Bomb Orb one more time. So every six... You know what? We're going bomb heavy. We're going all out bombs. Uh, let's go here. Because either way, we're going to get a relic. This way we get a, a mystery room. Maybe get either a special event or... No, just got a regular fight. That's okay. Crit right off the bat. I am happy with that. And I run. Good lord. That's a dead slime. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so we got our icicle. Um, I don't have to worry about hitting a crit because it pierces the first enemy, so it's going to hit both of them either way. Let's go ahead and go for the refresh. That's yeah, okay. Not the best damage, but hey. It's okay. Okay, got some nice bounces in there. Extreme overkill. Just no CS14 health. Okay, so we've got our bomb orb. I'm gonna try and go to the right because it's got more pegs to hit. Okay, everything is dead. I don't know how many bombs we hit, but five, six. Yeah, we hit a lot of them. Okay, so our bomb orb can't be upgraded anymore. Three's the max. Um, we don't need to heal because we're at 100 health, so I think we're going to upgrade. Upgrading the stone just increases the damage. Upgrading the dagger just increases the crit damage. The icicle increased the damage. It ju Yeah, it just increases the damage. So yeah, let's go ahead and go with that. I like, I like that pick. Let's go to the right. I didn't even notice that peg. Wow, okay. All right, then. All right, let's see what we get for our relic. A lucky penny. The board will contain two additional crits. That seems really good. Um, Let's go... Ah, let's go for a fight. Why not? I didn't mean to hit that peg. Uh, let's go to the left. That's what I meant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go to the left exactly as planned yeah look at that there's four crits wow that's awesome um that pierces there's only two of them um okay so i'm gonna try and save this for the regular stone because if i hit that here it will loop and go here i don't think it's gonna go all the way around but it'll hit more pegs this way if i try and do it with the icicle it's gonna pass through the first one and not really not really do what we want it to. So I'm gonna try and bounce it behind here and hit all these back ones. Or at least most of them. And prime the bomb, okay. That was pretty good. Don't particularly wanna hit those bombs because there's so many enemies that aren't on the field yet. Yeah, look at that, lovely. That was good damage. That's good damage, great damage. Um, can I hit that refresh? 
Sure can. Cool. Got some more bombs. Lovely. Hit that refresh. I didn't even need to hit that refresh. Why did I do that? That was silly. Oh well. problem. Okay. Look at the amount of crits on that side. Oh, I, did it not target the bats? Oh, you can select an enemy because certain orbs can fire behind. Like if um, it's, uh, what is it called? The lightning ball, I think. You can select which target to attack. But does the stone just normally attack the enemy on the ground here let's let's go for the bat and see if the dagger goes straight for the bat i think it will yeah it does okay and we're gonna get a reload which they're gonna attack we're gonna take quite a bit of damage on this fight i think hit the icicle so last time we used the icicle on a flying enemy it only hit the flying enemy so i'm gonna go for the slime and see if it hits all of them on the ground. It does, okay. Got the dagger again. I really want, okay, hang on. Let's select the slime, fire the dagger, and I wanna see who it goes for. I'm assuming the slime. It does, okay, so if there's, if there's an enemy flying and an enemy on the ground, you can select which one to go for. That's good to know. He survives with one HP. Really? Really? Are we just getting wailed on by this bat? <laughs> Let's hit a refresh. We're overdue for a refresh. Still not enough damage. Wow. I should have. Oh, it's a bomb orb. Didn't notice. Oh, I was hoping it was going to trigger that bomb. We're going to have to heal this. This fight. Oh. Good lord, yeah, if we set off bombs, it does so much damage. It does the bomb damage and it does the peg damage. Um, let's look at the orbs just in case. Bold orb, we saw that one last run or last fight. A rubber orb. Does two damage, four on crit, and it's extra bouncy. Okay. We have Swolt Orb. Which does less damage. One per peg, two on a crit. But it upgrades a peg. Oh, it upgrades each peg it hits. So if it hits a peg, it does plus one damage for every other orb that hits it. Mm. It sounds good. How close will we the boss fight? Tell you what. Because we can heal on any of these fights. Let's go ahead and get the upgrade orb, the swolt orb. And down here, we'll heal. I'm gonna go to the left, just so there's no chance of going to the elite fight. I don't think this run, I don't think we're strong enough to fight an elite. So we're gonna pass over him for now. All right. In the woods, you find a clearing with a strange tree directly in the center. There's a nook in the trunk with brambles twisting wildly out of it. Do I reach in the nook, shake the tree or continue? Since we're healing, let's go ahead and reach into the nook. You reach into the nook, which has been overgrown with rampant brambles. You suffer minor scratches, and a bramble level three is stuck to your hand when you pull it back. Hopefully it will come in handy. Wow, it's a level three bramble? Just maxed out, that's awesome. We may have to heal both these fights, but we'll see. Let's see what a bramble does. Bramble, bramble. Four damage on pegs, eight on a eight on a crit. Wow, okay. Applies bramble three on hit. Brambles deal eight damage per bramble level to passing enemies. Wow, okay. Brambled enemies are unable to move, and enemies that move through them take damage. Cool. Ooh, if I can get into these bombs. Ooh. It's the shape of the slime. How adorable. Doodle 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 doodle. 
Can I bounce that off and hit a bomb? Wow. Oh, I just hit all four of them. Oh, because it detonated one bomb, it hit each one once. So I hit two of them. Okay. So I was like, why did all of them go off? That was strange, but nope, that makes sense. That was a terrible shot. Okay. Detonate all of them. Mwahaha. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's extreme overkill. Never mind. Boom, boom, boom. Um. Let's heal. And then next fight, if if we go unscathed, I think we can upgrade maybe. Maybe. We'll see. If it gives us that option, actually, because it might just give us an option to. Uh, um, get a new orb. Uh, you found a... Oh, I think it's just gonna explain. Bramble, unable to pass through, take damage. Yeah, okay. It's just gonna explain how the Bramble works. Um, it has a pretty high crit. Yeah, let's try and crit. No, that's fine. Didn't really want to hit the bomb, because we just gonna miss out on these two, but that's fine. Oh, and it kills him. Okay. So, doesn't really help if we kill the target. Ooh, that was a good roll. Okay. That was quite a bit of damage. We got our bomb. It doesn't matter if we crit, so... Let's just go over here, I guess. Wow, okay. That one's already primed, too, so we can just... Hit that... Oh, hit that one. Come on. Lovely. Even just hitting one bomb is plenty. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah. We'll take it. Um, yeah, let's just go over here. I'm gonna try and go for this bomb, but I think the roll hit it, and it did. Excellent. And then that should be enough for the last one. Cool. Unscathed. Let's look at the orbs just to be just be safe. So we've got a multi-ball. Yeah, multi okay, so it splits into two balls. And for each level you increase it, it gains another multi-ball. So with multi-ball one, you fire one orb. First peg it hits, it splits into two. At a level two multi-ball, it does that again with the second two. It can spiral out of control really fast. Um, another dagger. And then a darkness. Um, okay, so it applies blind two, which blind gives a, an enemy 35% chance to miss. It's pretty strong for bosses. Uh, let's just go with the multi-ball, I guess. Um... Perfect. I was a little worried if I hit that peg, it'd go flying and maybe hit one of the fires, but that's fine. Alright, so we've got our mole here. I have fought him before. He was in the demo. The tree is just an obstacle. The mole will actually go underground and pop up in front of us and hit us. But when he goes underground, he spawns a uh, plant that can range attack. So um, let's. So I don't really need to hit a crit because it's an ice. It's the icicle. It'll pierce through an enemy, so it'll pierce through the tree and hit him. But it's going to do way more damage. So I'm just going to hit a crit. Um, the upgrade, let's try and get it in here. Hit as many pegs as possible. I'm happy with that. That was really good. Um, let's go ahead and hit the bomb. I probably should have saved the bomb, actually. For when he's back over here. But that's okay. Smack him a little bit. Ow. bomb get some damage on the mole wow I could really use a refresh I feel like I'm gonna waste the bomb orb if I don't go for pegs though but there's not really a good place to put it so I'm just gonna throw it down here well I got one bomb out of it I was really trying to hit that refresh but I'll try and hit it again 
missed again. I was trying to bounce it. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Ooh. Ow. Don't do that. Uh, okay, so here's a multi-ball. I'm going to hit it on this side, so hopefully it bounces in here. Um, actually, no. Let's just guarantee to get that one. We're going to get in there anyway, so... Lovely. I was hoping to set off one of those bombs, but oh well. So the Bramble... Bramball doesn't really help us here. Because nothing's going to pass through the enemy, because he's going to die, but... Oh, actually, the bomb will kill him first. This will hit the tree. I don't know if the mole teleporting will technically... I don't know if it technically counts as him passing through the tree. We're gonna find out, but I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. He goes under it, obviously, but okay. The Bramball isn't really gonna help us in this fight then, but... Let's throw it in here. So yeah, I actually really should be using the discard more to time it for when the mole comes across to hit him with an orb that I, I want to hit him with. I'm, you know what, having said that, I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna cycle the stone. He's gonna come across. It's not really, oh, the icicle. Yeah, let's just use this one. The icicle we can use to pierce, so when he goes back behind the tree, we can hit him with that. And perfect, we got a crit. Because if we don't crit, it'll only hit this plant and the tree. That was good bounce, okay. Oh, that's lovely. Actually, I think that kills him. Yeah, it does. Hit him with the bomb, pierces all of them. Awesome. Awesome. We'll upgrade an orb. Let's get the multi-orb. And we get a relic for defeating the boss. Every shot has multi-pull one. Oh, but it, it, it lessens the damage. Okay, I was gonna say that's broken. All pegs have durable. That's pretty good. Wand. Attack, steal, times two damage, but take two damage for every... Ew. I actually really like this one. If, if it combos the way I think it does, if we set off a bomb, it'll hit all the pegs around it, but it won't break them. So I think that's a really good option. This is normally where the demo would end, because the demo only had the forest area. So if you do pick up the demo, you can play through the forest area and try it out. But in order to get to this next portion, which is the castle right here, um, you'll need to purchase the game. But I think this is a good stopping point. It gives you a good look into Peggle. I thoroughly enjoy this game. To me, it is a game that you can very easily just sit down, chill, do a run and kind of decompress from a stressful day. Or you can grind it out for hours and hours and play run after run, which is usually the way I play it. But um, it's a very easy game to pick up, play for a little bit, and then move on with your day or move on to something else. And it's it's just fun. It's, it's just relaxing. And the added RPG element to it just gives it so much more to offer, in my opinion. But I love this game. I think it's great. As I said earlier, this game released into early access. It's $20. It is on sale. 10% off until May 2nd. But if you do want to try it out, the demo is still available. So you can download the demo, try it for free, and see if you like it before purchasing. Even at the $20 price point, I recommend this game. It's it's so much fun. Hopefully you pick it up. And if so, let me know what you think. Let me know if you had any awesome combo runs or if you found some relics that you really enjoyed or maybe orbs that comboed really well. I'd love to hear it. But yeah, guys, that's going to do us for Peglin. Hopefully you enjoyed. You have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.